Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Scorpio. If you like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Let me that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there in my Etsy shop in the description down below. You should be go check that out. Going to go buy something. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Scorpio, before we get into your reading, let's say some prayers. First, we have number 11, the goddess Kali, number 10, the goddess Kuan Yin. And as usual, we're starting with Kali first. We have number 11. As mother of light and solar radiance of spiritual protection, I open to your divine blessings of Kali, born of necessity. You give the power to be effective, to be resourceful, to accomplish sacred work and attain spiritual fruition for the spiritual benefit of all beings. You will not allow anything to overcome my true nature and divine purpose. May your light and inventiveness bless my way, clearing negative interference, deflecting impure activities, and ensuring the protection and manifestation of the highest truth through your grace, for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Okay, so, now we're doing number 10, Kuan Yin. It says, with beloved Kuan Yin, Empress of the Pearl, as my witness, I transform negativity into light through compassion. Anything that causes me discomfort, I use to grow my light. So it becomes bigger than the discomfort. And I now choose to experience the light of my being and its spiritual growth as more powerful than any irritation or suffering which serves that growth. Okay? So. I don't know why I keep forgetting things. But anyway, Scorpio, let's see what Spirit's message is for you, what's coming towards you. Before I forget that we're even doing the video. <laughs> uh, what do we have? We have number nine with the perfect setting, so you're being given the perfect setting here for something Scorpio. All right, we have that of nature, or we have that of like art, where she's like painting something artistically here. We have number three with celebrate differences. Okay, it's the maybe you have differences, different opinions with someone here. You celebrate that where there's like some something different being shown to you. You have the infinity symbol. I feel like there's there's a sense of magic here. You have number 45 with empowerment. Okay. So I feel like you're being given the perfect setting here to I feel like uplift people, to empower people here. Okay, where people are different and that's okay. Scorpio. Um, I feel like you're also being empowered as well. You're in that state of empowerment. Here. We have the sun, we have the lightning, we have rainbow. We have a lot of elements here that are very powerful. We have that of um, the ocean as well, the dolphin and the shells. So let's read more into your cards just to see if we pick up any other synchronicities that maybe you see, think of. So it says, you understand that everything in life comes with an opposite, even within yourself. You have polarity, male, female, high, low, good, bad, light, dark. It is our differences that make us unique. We all come from the same collective and all have the light of our inner soul. The more we learn and grow in our thoughts and attitudes, the more understanding and compassion can develop within our lives. Take a moment to appreciate an individual for the qualities that they are sharing with you and find what you can learn but learning can be gained from the situation. Okay. It says, if you have a goal or vision, be sure to provide the right surroundings for that dream to flourish. Positive self-talk, affirmations, being kind to yourself, celebrating your talents and success. All of these create fertile soil for your dreams to take root and grow. Sometimes when you, when you push yourself too hard, it can hinder the harmonious unfolding of your journey. Trust the process, relax, and allow nature to take its course. 
Belief in positive support is needed to accomplish your goal. Keep in mind, nature makes growing and blossoming look effortless. But the secret is in all the details, positions, sun, soil, air, water, and nourishment. Make sure you are taking steps necessary to attain your perfect environment. Alright? So you can also create your perfect environment here, Scorpio. So you have number 45. Is your last card? The moment for respect for life and all living things. Attuning to nature and to the creatures of the earth is at hand. Tune into the deep well of compassion that spills over readily to anyone who needs your help. You're being directed to take action to remove difficulties and resolve problems. Be receptive to guidance from whenever it happens. Don't be surprised to receive support from unusual avenues. Be alert to seemingly random input, which will give you clues and ideas that had not occurred. See, see. Be open to guidance, Scorpio. Maybe you're going to be directed in a place you never thought of, where you can actually get your dreams. I feel like setting yourself up for, you're going to be set up here perfectly. Alright, part of that is through positivity. And I feel, I feel like it's only to be open, because what you want is coming. It just may be different than what you're expecting it to. You understand? Once you have picked up these signs, pursue them diligently with determination. The potential for them to pay off is immense. As soon as you know what action to take, take it. Alright? And you set signs, and so it's like, as soon as you, as soon as the way kind of clicks for you, pursue that way. So, let's get some runes and charms yourself. We have that of Virgo. It's got those placements or one around you. We have this dragon moon, which can be a symbol of one yin. We have a Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. We have Anubis. We have a Bastet. We have this Aztec serpent god. If you're going through a spiritual initiation, that is successful. That will be a completion there. And there is movement happening now, Scorpio. So. That is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find uh, my Etsy shop, going to go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, definitely like subscribe. Bye, guys.